So the idea of good form running is we really wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So we created just four things with the hopes that potentially you'd remember two of them. Um, so we tried to keep it really basic. Um, so we're just going to go through the four things really simply um, and see how, it, see how it turns out when you put it into action. So the first thing we do is posture. And really, posture is important because as soon as you start to fatigue, you're going to sit down in your stride a little bit. And as soon as you sit down and your posture breaks down, it makes it much more difficult to move forward effectively and efficiently. So there's an easy trick. And again, basically when you get tired, you have good posture, and then your rear sticks out and you sit into a seat in your stride. So go ahead and just have you stand up straight. And then we're just going to have you just go ahead and just kind of sit into your stride a little bit like you're getting tired. Yeah, just like you would be if you're on a long run. And then an easy way to get out of that, all you're going to do is just reach your arms up over your head as high as you can, just stretch it out. And it's going to stand you up out of the seat. And then when you bring your arms back down, you're back in good posture. And that's a really kind of a helpful tool, and we'll do it when you're running. It's helpful when you're standing still. It's more helpful when you're tired and running and then trying to get good posture. So that's posture. That's your first thing, good posture. Second thing is where we land on our foot. And for a couple reasons, being on your heel creates a lot of instability. Um, so, and, and yet most of us, when we run, first thing to touch the ground is the heel. So all we're going to have you do is just go ahead and balance on one leg. And when you balance, your heel's on the ground, your toes are on the ground, the ball of your foot's on the ground, everything is working together. So that's where we want to spend the majority of our time, is using our whole foot to stabilize us. If you try to take the ball of your foot off the ground, go ahead and rock back, you lose a lot of stability really quickly. And yet every time we step, and we, or we're in, in stride and we end up landing on our heel, we're basically asking our body to do just that every step of the way. So an easy way to feel what it's like to have your whole foot touching the ground is just have you go ahead and walk in place. And underneath your foot, the ball of your foot might touch first, but your heel is still getting to the ground. We still want that heel to be there. We just don't want it to be the first thing to smash into the ground out in front of our body. And this is what we're going to call a midfoot strike. So even though the toe, the, the forefoot's touching first, we're getting our whole foot our midfoot to the ground. All right. So we got good posture. We got our midfoot. One of the help, most helpful tools for getting to that part of your foot, changing a stride from being a heel strike to a midfoot strike, we're going to call it. We're going to call it cadence. Just the rhythm of your feet. And cadence is a helpful tool because when you're out there, you're running, you're tired. It's hard to be aware of exactly what part of your foot is touching, and it's hard to change that. So with cadence, it's a really simple way because you're just trying to keep track of rhythm. You're not, not worried about anything else. And when you're trying to run with a cadence of 180, you don't have time to reach out and hit your heel. And you don't have time to push off and go airborne with your calf. It keeps you really grounded, it keeps you very efficient, and it puts you in a spot to where you can get on that part of your foot really quickly. So go ahead and let's just have you check your posture. So you got good posture. And go ahead and find your midfoot and get your arms going in there. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn on this metronome and see if just in place, see if you match the rhythm. So go ahead and jog to it. There we go. Now go ahead, double check, make sure that heel's still coming to the ground. So you're using your hip flexors to pick your feet up off the ground. There you go. It's like you're running in place, getting that whole foot on the ground. All right. So there's cadence. Yeah. Posture, midfoot, cadence. The last thing we add to that is lean. And the, the lean is the easiest thing to conceptualize and the most difficult thing to put into practice. Because again, there's a lot of body awareness to realize where your body is. So all we're going to do with lean is we want to make it natural for us to move forward. If we have good posture and we lean backwards, it's natural to go backwards. And if you lean to the side, it's natural to go. We want to make it more natural to go forwards. The key to your lean is that your posture stays the same, so you don't bend from your waist. You lean from your ankles. So if you go ahead and check your posture, and you bring your arms back down, 
Go ahead and just rock forward to your forefoot, leaving your heels on the ground. So you feel like gravity is making you about to fall. Are your toes curled? Are they gripping the ground? Now they are? All right, so go ahead and rock off of that. And that's where you want your lean, okay? It's not, it's not 45 degree angle. It's not, you're not really diving across the ground. It's just pretty subtle, just creating some forward motion so you feel like you're gonna fall. Make sense? Yeah. So one more time in place. Posture. Find your midfoot. Rock a little cadence. And then if I were to have you lean, you're gonna run off the treadmill. Yeah. Alright? Alright. So let's fire this thing up. So once you start running, I'm gonna kinda of give you a couple of cues that you can play with once you once you're up to speed. So first of all, first thing, let's do the, let's go back to the first point. Let's have you check your posture. Give it a good stretch. There you go. All right. Second thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and find this cadence. See if you can match that rhythm. There you go. Now in contrast, let's do it a little bit slower so you can feel a difference. Feel how the footfall gets a little heavier, it's a little clunkier. We're gonna get you back up to... There we go. All right, so there's cadence. And lastly, go ahead and slowly shift your weight backwards. All right, now slowly shift forward so you feel gravity start to help you out. And then go ahead and check your posture one more time. There you go. Make sure you're not bending from the waist. Make sure you're nice and tall. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and kill it. This kind of makes sense? Yeah, it does. If there's two things that you're gonna take away from good form running and kind of going through a short clinic, it's really posture and cadence, really focusing on maintaining good alignment, keeping your hips underneath of you, and really thinking about keeping that rhythm up so that you, there's not that tendency to reach out and reach out for the ground and put yourself in a position where you might heel strike or where you're gonna create a breaking force or where you're just gonna lose a lot of efficiency when you don't need to. I'm on the balls of my toes already. There you go, oh, yeah. There you go.